my dear friends we enter into the 24th sunday in ordinary times the book of lamentation chapter 3 verse 20 onwards says my soul remembers what the lord has done for me verse 22 onwards today i am not consumed in spite of all my weakness all my sin it's because the grace of god this is the truth that the grace of god comes into the lives of man every day like the sun rays yes my dear friends today's first reading says from the book of exodus chapter 32 the lord loved the people of israel chose moses brought them out of egypt but when they moved near the mountain sinai when god called moses to come and be with him and speak to him that he will give him and the people ten commandments the people of israel were left out without moses they forgot all that god has done for them they went to aaron brother of moses and said make a god for us even aaron a man who knew god he was busy in pleasing the people he was trying to avoid problems than to stand for god it is the saddest story in the life of human beings that we who are blessed and loved by god when things go wrong in the world we stand for people we stand for things but not for our god aaron hearing their cry he told them to bring their gold and made a calf made of gold and told them this is your god and the people began to worship this is our god eating and drinking the heart of god was broken he told moses i have loved my people but my people have gone away from me their own sin is going to destroy them because the wages of sin is death and they are going to be consumed in my anger immediately moses looks at god and tells him lord you are a merciful god have mercy on your people god tells moses forget about them i will begin a new generation through you and your family moses says no i am here not to build up my life i am here for my people as you love them i to love them please have mercy remember abraham how he loved you remember isaac though there are so many people who don't love you remember isaac how he was faithful to you remember jacob who fought with you to remain with you if you allow your people to be killed what the egyptians will think of us please have mercy it is not to raise up my family is important but my people have to be forgiven lord the lord saw the heart of compassion that is grown in moses and then he forgives his people and tells them i will not allow any calamity to come into the life of my people yes my dear friends when we call upon him when we cry to him he is a god of mercy god of compassion that's what we read in the gospel of st john chapter 1 when a leper knelt before and before jesus and said lord if you wish you heal me when a blind man began to cry 
Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. The heart of God melted. And he told the people, call him. He told the leper, yes, I wish to heal you. When he called Moses, he showed compassion. The same God is showing compassion and mercy to you and me. This is the first stage of grace. Where man cries to God, crying for help, and God comes to help him. And in today's second reading, we find the second stage of grace of God. Here St. Paul says, I am a blasphemer. I persecuted the church. I persecuted the Christians. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 12 onwards. But though I did not know God, God was merciful to me. And he made known himself to me. So he gave me something for which I don't deserve. This is second stage of grace. The first stage is when man cries to God for mercy. God shows him the grace and mercy. The second stage is when I don't deserve, when I don't even call upon him, God out of his grace comes to help me. We read in the book of Judges chapter 15 when Samson was lying in the filth of a prostitute. He sinned with her. But then the enemy has come, thousands of them, with the swords to kill Samson. But the mercy of God, the grace of God comes to Samson. That he receives the power. He saw a bone of a donkey and kills the thousands of people. This grace, this type of grace, God gives to us that we may repent we may be able to understand the goodness of God and then we return back to God. Yes, the first type of grace, when we ask pardon and mercy, that is the grace of mercy. The second type of grace is known as the grace of goodness. Though I don't deserve our mercy, I have persecuted the church, still God trusted me and chose me as his apostle and gave me the ministry. How can I thank him for this grace? Yes, this is what God does in many of our lives. If he remembers all of our sins, we would have perished long ago. Today we are because of his grace. That's why that beautiful hymn says, Ame. Sing grace, how sweet that sounds that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now. I see. Yes. The third type of grace is man becomes blind to the world. Blind to the riches and sin of the world. And the sin captures him and makes him zero and throws him to the hellfire. Yet there man looks up to God and cries, Have mercy on me. Because of my sin, I have lost everything. I have no one than you, Lord. Have mercy on me. If you say no, that is the end of my life. Even there, the grace of God comes. That's what Jesus says in Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, which is our Gospel. God leaves like a madman, 99, and searching for the one that has been lost. The heart of God crying for the lost souls. That is the grace of God. They have gone away. 
they don't want you o oh lord but still why are you mad after them that is grace the grace which cannot be understand with our thoughts our eyes or our mind a father who had two sons and the second son went away from the father took away his property made money and lived with the prostitutes drinks drugs and he made everything zero he made zero of all the property which the father has worked for many many years made a struggle to buy a small property and then a small house then maybe another plot how much he might have suffered the son never realized but when he lost everything when he became zero he remembered his father who is a hero who is full of love look 15 17 says he came to his senses are who i am who is my father when there is so much food in my father's house why am i dying because i have gone away from my father i have cut off my life from my father and i have ended up in death but even that i will go to my father and tell him i am sorry and when he return the father with great arms welcomed him forgave him gave him new slippers new clothes a ring honor yes this is the third type of grace when we are still dying god comes to lift us up we read in luke's gospel chapter 23 a thief who is to be crucified who is going to die christ jesus a mercy on me i am a sinner please save me save my soul jesus said today you will be with me in paradise may we celebrate this grace is god and remember that we belong to him and only in him we have life let's love him and love one another whom he has given to us let's pray thank you lord for this beautiful sunday where you teach us three type of grace the first grace is grace of mercy when a man falls in sin he cries to you have mercy on me and you forgive him and you bless him once again and the second type of grace when i don't deserve when i don't deserve you come to help me when i have not even known you you come to save me when i don't call you you call me when i don't deserve you give me your life and lead me to life and the third type of grace is i have gone away from you living in filth lost everything have fallen into the hands of satan having lost everything calling upon you i have no one and your grace comes to help me thank you lord that i may remember this amazing grace of yours and live according to you according to the call you have given to me in jesus mighty name i pray amen praise the lord